and people accused of being spies for the Russians admitted they had false identities and pleaded guilty to being agents of the Russian Federation. When it was clear that they would escape prison time and hefty fines, they smiled and gave a thumbs up in court. Initially, uh, the decision to plead guilty was a very difficult one, and as I mentioned, it involved numerous factors. Under an agreement signed off by U.S. District Court Judge Kimba Wood, these spies would leave the United States as early as tonight. All ten were taken to an airport with flights to Moscow, part of a two-step deal that will send U.S. spies currently detained in Russia back to the United States. Among them convicted spy Igor Sadyagin, who passed nuclear secrets to the United States. Spies would have to forfeit their lavish homes in suburban New York and New Jersey and give over any money given to them by the Russian government. Although most of these spies were calm and relaxed and even smiled during the proceedings, Vicky Pelez was notably upset and sad. She worked as a Spanish language reporter and columnist at El Diario in Brooklyn and she was alone in breaking down into tears. Her son, Waldo, was in the courtroom and sat with his head in his hands during much of the proceedings. What do you think? What are you thinking? That's what I call sacrifice.